Hello everybody, I'm Wolfio 207 and it's time for another Wolfio 207 Reviews. Today this is going to be a nice and quick review based off a game that I picked up on Steam and I don't really feel needs a full review, but it's definitely a game that I feel most people should play. That game is UFO Aftershock. UFO Aftershock is one of those few games on Steam that you, as soon as you pick it up, it's almost like Xenonauts in a way where you're not sure what to do, but you know what you got in your hands is pretty damn awesome. To start off, UFO Aftershock is a pure T strategy game. If you ever wondered what the old UFO XCOM games were, well, that's essentially this game. To say that it's roguelike would probably be uh, unnecessary to say. This game is absolutely brutal with its strategy and absolutely brutal with some of its execution and it really makes you have to fight. It, it, it's kind of crazy about that. But this game is very good. I enjoy this game. This is one of the few games on Steam that are... I guess you could say old school, but at the same time, I when I first picked it up, I didn't even know it was old school. I just knew that this game was very good and very enjoyable, and yeah, you're going to have a lot of fun with this game, and currently it's only $5 on Steam, so there's no real ex reason why you shouldn't pick it up. I mean, yes, the graphics, no, the graphics are horrible, some of the controls interface probably could have used a reworking for a uh, release on Steam, but for simply $5, you're going to get your value for this game, and I highly recommend it. It's got a sort of survival aspect and sort of a squad-based, technically an RTS, and I say technically because it pauses the game every four seconds. Despite that, you should really enjoy this game. I cannot drive that point home enough, you'll really enjoy this game if you give it a chance. Now, a couple of tips going into this game, and stuff they really don't explain very well in the tool tips, is one, when it comes down to base building, you have to get resources from tracks. Now, in order to create the tracks, you have to click on the tracks until you see a yellow line. Now, when you see the yellow line, it may have multiple directions it can go. Click on the territory that you want it to go through or you want it to go to. That's it. Nice and simple. Also, in addition to base building, there's the more bases you build, the more factories and stuff like that you build, like addition, that'll actually work as a bonus. It will cut down times like research times or development times or manufacturing times, it is incredibly important that you build multiple, multiple things, not just one of each. You're going to end up getting your ass kicked if you just do one of each. Though, it's not a bad idea to, as soon as you get like a lab or a medical lab or something like that, that you immediately go over there and build one of those. Especially a basic weapons lab, you definitely want to get down your basic weapons and you definitely want med kits but basic weapons are higher on that list because ammo has become a priority in this game and you can lose it fairly quickly whenever you first start out this game it, it pulls no punches you could put it on the easiest setting with a tutorial and it will pull no punches so really 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 go in with the uh, oh yeah this game's going to be hard, but it's going to be fun, set of mind. And, well, that's all I got really to say about it, really. I mean, this is a very good game. I give it a 8 out of 10. This game was created 9 years ago, and it still, to this date, can take down probably some of the bigger games out there. It gives Xenonauts a run for its money. The Shadowrun Returns can't even touch it in terms of value and fun that you can have with the thing. It's just out. 
understanding the sort of stuff that you could really do over here. So I highly recommend that you guys pick this up. It's a really fun game and you're really, really, really going to enjoy yourselves. As long as you don't put too much of a focus on graphics. Where did that scumbag go? Bailing out. Attack aborted. Oh, hell. Where'd he go? 